Hi, welcome back. This video will explain you how you can create a backup copy of your global rule set that is delivered in SAP GRC10. I assume that you have activated the global rule set using the BC sets that are delivered by SAP. In case if not, please go ahead and activate all the relevant BC sets before you carry on with this activity. To activate the rule sets that are delivered by SAP, you should go to SCPR20 transaction code. In this video, I'm not explaining about activating the rule set. As I mentioned, I assume that you have already done with that activity and I, all I am going to explain you is how you can make a copy of the global rule set. So once you are in the GRC system, you have to go to SPRO transaction code, it is PRO, click on SAP reference IMG. Expand Governance, Risk and Compliance and then Access Control and you have Access Risk Analysis underneath Access Control and then SOD Rules. So all you need to do is you need to execute the Download SOD Rules option. Alternatively you can execute the GRAC underscore download underscore rules transaction code of the program. So there is a direct transaction code available that you can execute. In case if you don't have authorization to pro transaction, you probably may look at authorization for the GRAC underscore download underscore rules transaction code of the program, which will get you to the same screen. Before you copy, before you make a backup of the global rule set, what you need to do is you basically need to download the existing rule set from the system. So what I'm doing here is I'm selecting the client for which I want to download the rule set. In case if the rule set is used for a logical group, ensure that you're downloading the rule set for that specific logical group. And now, you have to download all the files that are displayed here. Remember you should not leave any of the individual file and also SAP will not allow you to download only some of these files. So you have to by default download all the files. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a folder on my desktop called as rule set download. So I'm going back into my SAP system. So once the folder is created, what you need to do is select the folder as the destination. That is where I want to download my rule sets, rule set files. So I'm making, downloading it as an Excel file. So what I'm doing is similar where I'm giving different names for all these files. Remember that you are giving some identical names. Okay, basically you need to identify the files back because you have to upload the same files again into the system. So if you give one, two, three, you know, or ABC names, you'll not be able to identify the files back. So it is always recommended to use the file names which are in readable format. So I just gave uh, file names for all of the file selections that I have here. So what I'm doing now is just downloading it. It probably takes a couple of minutes to download these files. Done. See how quick it is. So as soon as the files are downloaded, what you need to do is open these files 
as I mentioned it will be in Excel files XLS format but in a comma separated values ensure that you don't rename the file name and the sheet name both the file name and the sheet name should be the same in case if you change the sheet name you have to make sure that you change the file name also and vice versa so what you need to do is once these files are downloaded the first file that you need to modify is the rule set so open rule set and these are the various rule set that have in the system so what I'm looking at is to create a copy of my global rule set so simply rename this rule set okay I'll say global underscore B which is my backup and in the description also I'll say global backup okay remember if you have made any changes to the global rule set already or the risk that you have in the global rule set or if you have added any custom risks all those will be backed up in this rule set as well so once you make the changes here just save save this file in the same format don't change the format of the file especially when you have the la latest version of MS Office it will prompt you to save in XLX S format which is not a readable format that probably will have some inconsistencies so just make sure that you save the file in the same format and once after the rule set what you need to do is you need to pick up the last one the file which is risk to rule set relationship okay now what I am doing here is I am filtering everything so create a filter look for the global ones you will find all the risk related to global here so only pick up the global ones and what you need to do is you need to change all the global ones into global underscore B either you can set a filter or in case if you are not very sure you can take out the filter and find out and then you know replace the value so what I'm doing is I'm choosing the second option find what I want to find global and then replace with global underscore B so find next okay remember if you do this it is picking up the other one as well which has called G global so you should be very careful when you are creating the rule sets in case if it replaces then probably you'll have an inconsistency in the data again so instead of that what the best option now is to you know quickly look at only the global ones select and now say H and then say replace all so it has got 241 replacements quickly and then you can take out the filter back so when you see now there is nothing called as global and the G global is intact right you should be very careful when you are making changes to this downloaded data and then again save this file don't save when it prompts again and you can look at the other files as well these two are the files that we need to basically modify I don't see an option where you can tweak the other files so these two are the important files that you need to modify and once you have the modified files again log into the SAP system go to reference IMG the same way how we went so go to reference IMG governance risk and compliance access control access risk analysis SOD rules and now I have an option called upload rules and remember to select the same logical group or the system and then whichever files that you have you have to upload those files back 
Now see, function, function business process, function action, function permission, rule set, risk. Even though I don't make any changes in these files, still it is good to upload these files back. And when it prompts to append or overwrite, always use append because it only adds the changes that you have made and keeps the other values as it is. If you haven't made any change to any of, of the row, it will not overwrite. Okay, so it is always recommended to use the append option and then say execute. So you just have to allow it because you are uploading the files back. So you may have that prompt for 8 times because 9 times because you have uploaded 9 different files. So it probably takes a couple of minutes and then it says rules uploaded successfully. So once the rules are uploaded you can check back from NWBC. Go to the setup work center. If you go to the rule sets you can see the global underscore B which is the backup rule created just now and then if you go to the access risks you also can see that these risks are assigned to multiple rule sets so let's go back and then look at the rule set now you can see that the specific risk is automatically assigned to the global backup rule set. So every risk that you see here will be assigned to the rule set because you know all of these risks are a part of global. So similar way I have got global underscore B which is backup which is probably you know used as a backup without modifying or I can use this as a actual rule set you know by copying whatever risk that have in the global rule set. Remember once you do this activity all you need to do is select all the risks, generate rules and use the background option. Whenever you make any changes to the risks such as assigning a new rule set, removing the existing rule set, you need to perform a rule generation. I'll say global rule set backup is the one that I have. So I say start immediately and I don't want this to be a recurring one schedule. Now see, so this may probably take some time for you to complete the job. So you can always go back to access management. You have an option called background jobs. You can look at the background jobs in case if there is an error you can also find out what the error is. Now see this is the job that we have scheduled and you can always see the status. And in case if a job is cancelled due to some problem you can identify what the problem is you know from the job log. This is how we create a backup copy of the global rule set quickly. Thank you. In case of any questions, drop me an email at ragu at sapsecurityexpert.com.